about my father, obviously. Um, I'm 17 years old, right? And I come home from school with a perfect report card. I mean, we're talking all A's. I know this was years ago. It still affects me now. So, uh, all A's. And I, I go to my dad. I say, hey, Dad, can I take the car out? You know, take the guys out. Kind of a victory drive. You know, blah, blah, blah. He says no. It's a 1967 Candy Apple Red Mustang, white leather seats, convertible. It's a classic. It demands respect. It's not to be touched. That's how this guy talked. So, <laughs> I steal the keys and I sneak the car right out. Because basically, nothing I ever did was good enough for this guy. So, we're on 95. Having the time of our life. We're partying. I got the music up. I got the top down. Beautiful day. Cruising. No worries in the world. I look in the rearview mirror and I see flashing lights. You see, my father had phoned in a car being stolen. Not that his son had taken the car without permission, mind you, stolen. Central Station, in lockup. All the other guys' dads come and bail him out, but not him. No, he let me stay there for two whole days. He's going to teach me a lesson. Two whole days. Shortly thereafter, I graduated from high school. I left home, and I haven't spoken to him since. across the street. I didn't kill that girl. I just don't know what happened last night. Uh -huh. You better be glad that you held down to that receipt. Now until this whole thing fucking blows over, what are you gonna do? Stay home. You're gonna stay fucking put. Get the fuck out of here now, please. Don't slam my fucking door!